Hey everybody, just giving you a preview of this week's module, which is on language and oral communication. So language is not only um, what we speak or write, but it, it also, it's also symbolic and um, has a lot of social, cultural, uh, interpersonal and contextual meaning. So first of all, in our presentations, of course, we try to use language that is accurate. We try to use language that is appropriate. We try to use language that the audience can understand and hopefully expresses, you know, the thoughts and feelings, concepts and ideas that we have in our presentations. Language usage also affects our credibility. The credibility is how the audience perceives us, whether we're trustworthy, whether we're um, knowledgeable, whether we're ethical. So the words that we use, the vocabulary, um, you know, the phrases, the sentences all reflect on our thinking, but also reflect on our character and our values. Um, Another aspect of language is that not everybody speaks the same way, and that's okay, especially in a public speaking class. We are not asking you to conform to a certain type of language or to replicate a certain type of language, but to use the language that is appropriate to you, that use the language that's appropriate for your speech, for your purposes or, or, and your goals, and how you best express yourself. We might give you suggestions about language usage. We might perhaps ask you to explain why you made certain choices, but language uses is, is always a question of identity, a question of culture, um, and a question of who we are individually. And just like a thumbprint is different from everyone else, so is our use of language. So um, in public speaking, it's very important to use language that's inclusive, language that brings the audience in, language that doesn't necessarily alienate a certain group or an individual. It's important to stay away from prejudiced language, from racist language, from sexist language, and from language that's insensitive towards other people and groups. Um, so ways that we can do that is to research language, to ask people in our classes or in our community, to ask people, um, how, how would you like me to refer to you? Or um, how, how does your group often refer to itself? Um, what does this type of language mean to you? Um, so it's always best to investigate and explore the language. And then finally, you know, language is creative. It's fun. When we're developing our speeches, it's great to think about, how can I say this better? How can I say this more different, differently? How can I say this more creatively or vividly or thoughtfully? Um, so language is just one of the most amazing things that we as humans um, have. It allows us to build our social world, and obviously it allows us to communicate with one another.